from Kalamazoo, direct to you. It's a WKZO.com quick cast. One of the things that we've uh, learned is that uh, flexibility is a critical part of any operation, and so today we're going to be flexible. Uh, one of our featured speakers has an airplane to catch, which uh, will be departing here at about 25 after the hour. So we're going to flip the schedule around to make sure that uh, he makes that flight. The Honorable Carl Levin is, was elected to the Senate in uh, 1978, and with a, a good deal of seniority now built up, he's a very important man as chairman of the uh, military committees and uh, serves on several others. And in order to make sure he gets going, we're going to move right on to Senator Clay. Thank you. thank you and thanks to uh, all of my colleagues for uh, allowing me to bump a, a few of them. Dave particularly, uh, thank you. Uh, boy, this has been a great few weeks, hasn't it, for Kalamazoo. I'll tell you, just to have an I-94 widening and the new interchange and now to great ground on a new terminal. This uh, is really a great uh, great month, as a matter of fact, uh, for Kalamazoo, Battle Creek, and West Michigan. And it kind of shows you what can be done when we all work together. Uh, that's the secret to this. There's a lot of people who spent a lot of time over a long period of time to make this new terminal uh, finally a reality and a great ground for it today. And we in Washington, on a bipartisan basis, have worked together. Debbie Stab and I, Fred Upton and I uh, worked very hard for the funds that are the federal portion uh, of this new terminal. Uh, those funds uh, span everything from earmarks, you'll pardon the expression earmark, that's not a bad thing where we work, providing it's spent well, and the earmark we got for this new terminal is well spent money, well spent taxpayers money. We've got airport improvement money in here which we worked hard for. We even have stimulus package money in here, the stimulus bill, which will help to fund the new advanced technology security that's going to be part of this terminal. Uh, so we pull together when it comes to back home issues in Washington, and you, of course, uh, as a region, uh, have done wonders, pulling together uh, cities and county, business community, uh, Western Michigan the University, uh, you've all pulled together uh, in a regional effort uh, to speak with one voice about uh, the needs and the future of this community. Uh, we congratulate you on that kind of a cooperative effort. Uh, when you pull together that way, uh, anything uh, is possible. Uh, that 1024 plane that's supposed to fly out of here uh, is really going to be a flyover. <laughs> Providing it leaves on time. If it's, if it's late, in that case, uh, well, but uh, we, we're very, very, very grateful for uh, uh, your uh, pulling together as a, as a community. Uh, the future of this state uh, is bright, although at times it seems very, very challenging indeed. But we've always looked to West Michigan when it comes to a community that knows how to work together, pull together, uh, so that our economic future is brighter. Uh, you've done that in the past. You've led the way to economic recovery, uh, and we look forward to West Michigan doing it together again. Uh, this terminal will be, will be part of that. The old terminal, I think, is going to the Air Zoo, as I understand. Um, it's an awful lot of space it's going to take up there, but uh, we'll see at least parts of it, I'm sure, uh, in the Air Zoo down the road. Uh, thank you again for uh, all you do uh, to keep hope alive in this community and for all of Michigan. And now uh, we'll make as little noise as possible taking off, not to interrupt the program. Take care. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Levin, for your most appropriate comments. Uh, as I think probably a lot of you know, the, the original impetus for a new terminal here uh, started uh, a little over five years ago when the county administration, who were the owners of the airport, looked at the conditions that existed both currently and into the future as regards uh, air travel out of the 
the Southwest Michigan region. Their determination was that the existing terminal was inadequate, and they began a process of identifying a, a new terminal to take its place. Once they got the uh, preliminary design in place, they started looking at the uh, budgets for getting it constructed and also available funding to get it built. When the funding was not going to meet up to the level of the uh, budgetary estimates, the plan was dropped. A couple of years later, they decided to form the Aeronautics Board and turn the function of the airport over to us. At that time, we started that same process with a complete suitor. We looked again at all of the most current information about air travel, number of inflatements and deflatements. We looked at the security issues, all of the things that have changed, and reached the very same conclusion that the existing terminal is just inadequate for both today and more importantly for the future. So we started the process of looking at whether the new terminal was the best way to go or was it possible to upgrade and add to the existing terminal. As you can well tell, the new terminal was by far the, the best way to go, the, the best long-term solution to the problem. With that, we started the process of getting a design in place, the same budgetary requirements being met and looking for the fund. And as the Senator pointed out very correctly, that was a very much a community effort. And in fact, getting all of the support of the business community and our local political parties was extremely important. And in the end, brought the result that we wanted. Now that we have the terminal plan in place, we've got 80% drawings, the funding is available, now the real work starts and we're going to continue to need your support as we work our way through the, the real challenge, that of getting it constructed. At this time, I want to turn the podium over to the representative of the owners of the area. That would be uh, Chairman Dave Busker from the Palace of Thank you. Good morning. I'm, I'm looking out over a group of friends and neighbors and, and probably some relatives out there somewhere. It's a glorious day. This has been a long journey. I want to give you a little background. This actually, I've been involved with the airport longer than my eight terms on the county board. It goes back to when I was an airport advisory board member back in the late 80s. And in 1989, there was a master plan done that started this whole process. And the master plan first took care of, over the first 15 years, the airfield. The new extension on the runways, the widening of the taxiways, and it made it evident that we were going to be in need of a new terminal someday. But by doing this in preparation, the airfield site, the, the FAA saw that we were ready for this and we're on top of this in this community. And that's why we have the support that we've got so, gotten so far from, from the FAA and their funding and our, and our elected officials. I want to thank, in particular, Fred Upton, who's ushered this for the last 20 years, Senator Stabenow and Senator Levin, who just left, they, they asked me, some of their colleagues want to know when we're going to stop asking for money in southwest Michigan, and I said, we're not going to. We're going to keep on asking and asking and asking, because these are good, needed projects here in this community. Um, I want to thank especially the county board and the previous county board of Kalamazoo County, who had the foresight to see that in order for this to progress and happen, we had to do something more. And that's when they formed the Airport Authority Board. With Gil Culver as the chair, and my good friend Jim Woodruff as the vice chair, and Gil's going to recognize the rest of the board, don't worry. They have taken this, the final steps that it needed to be taken, where a 17-member county board might have had a harder time doing it. I want to thank you for what you've done, because this was a dream of several of us on the county board for the last 16 years, and it is going to happen. I also want to thank kind of windy up here, but it's better than rain, right? I also want to thank one other group of people who are instrumental in this whole process, and that's our building authority. 